Ernest Pugh took to Facebook and wrote, Rest in peace, sissy. Hey, to okay. So today I am to going to read this information. Um, we he have deleted it. Dion Warwick wrote on Twitter. Uh, we're getting tested today. Okay, so it's gonna be on parental medication. Basically, that's injection. So you have intradermal. It was a you have sub Q and you have I M. Um, so no just a heads up, like if you have the slab coming up, you have to know all your needle lengths, gauges, and um, this is really some old school tea. Yes, it is. Length, gauge, and angle, and all the um sites. Like they'll just ask you on the spot. That's how they said they're gonna do it for me, our class. Um, so. Seem to have mixed up in dermal is like the gauge is 25 to 27, the angle is 5 to 15, the needle length is um, one four to one half inch. So it's bubble up. Sub Q is 25 to 30 gauge. Um, you have to, and 25 to 30 gauge, 5 eighths to an inch, 45 degree if you have a super skinny patient, and um, 90 degree for everyone else. Oh boy. Um, yes, for a sub Q when you're doing it, you have to um, leave it in. I'm feeling lucky. Um, do you? You have to leave it in for five seconds. So yeah. Um, and then you clean the top of the vi your vials for fifteen seconds. Never aspirate. You never and massage. No you, you can apply a little bit of pressure, but never for intradermal. Um, so for I am, I think we're allowed to pick our site that we're gonna do. So I'm going with the deltoid. It's three finger breaths. Like you find the acromion pro process, three finger breaths below that, and then find like a nice meaty part of the muscle. So for I am, it's like aqueous solution, oil solution. Yeah, aqueous is 25 to, I think 27. No. Aqueous is 20 to 25. Oil this is the gauge, 20 to 25 gauge. Um, God, it's hot. Oil solution would be 18 to 20. 18 to 25. 18 to 25. And infants are 25 to 28. And then it's five eighths inch all the way up to one and a half inch. And it's 90 degrees. Like I am, you just go straight in. For I am, you do the Z track. Um, you find your site, you clean it, and then you displace the skin, and then you go in. Yeah, you maintain the traction and leave the needle in for 10 seconds. And then for mixing insulin, it's Nancy Bregan RN. You inject the air into the MPH. You inject your air into the regular invert. Pull out your dose and then um, go into the MPH. Yeah, this lab, I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if we're gonna be like acting like we're doing it on a patient, but for each thing or we're just going to be standing at the bedside and sh demonstrating how you just do the actual injection and pull it out the vials and the ampules and stuff so um if you have any questions on that let me know but that was like a nice little review for you guys what else with lab 
I don't know like I really I don't know if my time will allow it but I really want to go to the practice lab just to get comfortable um for when I'm in with the actual patient like just to have that free time just to talk to an RN a teacher with their masters like that's totally worth it that's the opportunity you're only ever gonna get in school so I feel like yeah you should take advantage of that even if you think like oh I'm LPN and I'm getting my RN and I'm good like I think there's always something you don't know so take advantage of that if you can um you can see like how other people do it too and then the teacher will give you tips too because she's been a nurse on the floor on whatever specialty so she can tell you like my one teacher who was doing our um our lab or we were just going over the information she was an OB um she did peds she did um OB so she did all that so she she's a great resource for that um I can even get into conversations like where did you work how was it like things like that like it's not just lab like you literally have an RN who's gonna stand there and answer all your questions so to me that's like totally valuable um like I definitely am gonna check out that schedule try and get it today and when I get out of lab I will let you guys know and um I'll let you know anything where like I messed up or anything the teacher says any tips whatever um all right guys I'll talk to you later
I just got done with my um, testing in lab that was basically done on all three types of injections. Um, basically, once I felt fine, but once I got in front of the instructor, I basically choked a couple times, but just all I can say is just take your time and make sure you think about what you're doing, like try not to think ahead too much because I was doing, I was doing a, um, the flu vaccine in my hand, but I was talking about the PPD and I was educating a patient about the PPD instead of the flu, but she kind of realized it was just my nerves, like I didn't actually mistake the med for the other med, but just try and just relax but it's hard but I did pass and I wasn't perfect like but just recover if you mess up just say if you have to start over say I'm gonna start over don't just stand there and be like oh my god I messed up um just be like well if this happened in the real world I would start over you know what I mean and just let them know every step of the way that you know what you're doing and you'll operate safely whether you make a mistake or not just go if you make a mistake in lab just say that was a mistake i'll start over and that's it and talk out loud everything you're doing because they don't know why you're doing what you're doing unless you tell them okay guys so just wanted to um come on and let you know how it went i did pass so we're on to the next phase. I can move on. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I did put my slides up there for you guys, like as a resource, if you want to use them. And that's it, guys. Um, let me know if you have questions. And like, comment, subscribe if you did like this video. Alright, I appreciate it. Bye guys.